All right, y'all, so y'all know this is a big boxing weekend. We got Anthony Joshua, AJ, but we also have Jamal Charlo versus Dennis Hogan. Um, I'm actually more excited for that card, uh, uh, in my personal opinion, because I do think uh, the card in itself is a little bit more entertaining from top to bottom. Um, the reason why behind that, because we got Chris Ubank Jr. fighting that card as well, fighting a very, very, very skilled uh, boxer and Matt Korobov, and then we got Jamal Charlo versus Dennis Hogan, obviously. I think those are both going to be tough fights, uh, and they're both going to be very entertaining. That's just my opinion. But the reason why I'm excited for this is because what the future holds for a guy like Jamal Charlo. We all wanted to see Jamal Charlo against Triple G versus Canelo. Well, they're with the zone, so that's not going to happen now, or that's highly unlikely as long as Jamal Charlo is with PVC. But what we can possibly see is a Jamal Charlo versus Chris Ubay Jr., which I am ecstatic for. I would love to see that. The only way that happens, though, is Chris Ubank Jr. has to get go uh, get by a very hard, hard opponent in Korobov, someone who boxes amazing, and that's one of Ubank Jr.'s uh, worst kryptonite. You've seen what happened against him against Billy Joe. You've seen what happened against him against Groves. I think Korobov is a more skilled uh, 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 um, boxer than both of those. Both of them, when I'm talking about fundamentals, obviously Billy Joe is better uh, than Korobov. Um, because uh, the way he puts everything together. But I just want to talk about fundamentally based. I think Korobov got both of them beat. I'm not saying they're better, okay? George Groves in his prime better than Korobov. And then obviously Billy Joe is way better than Korobov. But Korobov is a very solid boxer. Um, Chris Ubank Jr. might have some trouble with him if he doesn't stick to the game plan and he goes back to what got him the losses against Billy Joe. And, um... Uh, uh, grows, but obviously he has that new trainer, so we're hoping that doesn't happen. In his last fight, you saw him use his jab more against uh, the Gale, so we'll see what happens. But uh, if Chris Ubank beats Korobov, if Jamal Charlo beats Hogan, Hogan looking very improved, Hogan looks great. Um, I do got Charlo winning that, but I think it's going to be a, a barn burner. Charlo versus Chris Ubank Jr. in the future seems like a damn good fight. And if I'm wrong, y'all tell me in the comments below. Maybe I'm, I'm hyping it, maybe I'm boosting it, but god damn, that sounds like a good fight. Jamal Charlo says, on Chris Ubank Jr. just come from BoxingNews24.com. He wants to talk himself into a fight. So they're already talking about each other. They're already talking about each other, right? So I'm going to see this fight happen. Um, you know, I've been talking about Chris Ubank Jr. for the last couple of years saying, you know, I feel like he's been underrated. I'm like, where, you know, I don't know why he doesn't get more love than he should. I feel like he should be a superstar at this point in time. But I think this, him against Charlo, that's going to take him to that next level that he deserves to be on. And Jamal, I think this is a great fight for him to have since none of the other big names trying to uh, uh, fight him. Uh, if y'all disagree with me, let me know below. You already know. Uh, I want to hear y'all opinion on it. And uh, let me know what y'all think about this. I'll go see you all day.